Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome to your class. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Hello, yes, Rafael, sir. we miss you. Oh, great, you're right. right. <laughs> yes, you could make it. Uh huh. Yes, because you have been a little busy, so that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And we listen, thank God you are at least as a listener, all right? Yes, well, teacher, because I am still not well. Yes, okay, I understand. And I hope you get better soon, Ulise. Yes, thank okay. you, teacher. We're almost at the end of this course, so you are going to uh, get better really soon okay no problem okay thank yes, you. you you would have more time to rest okay and recover all right mm, thank god jose miguel is there okay Hello. i hope i don't know if you're going to be as a listener tonight no 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 oh okay great because tonight. i thought you were still driving okay no problem thank god yes jose miguel good <laughs> Mm -hmm. But today, tenemos otra baja. Vamos a ver aquí. Tenemos a Hosman que hoy estará de hoy. De mi muchachito, Hosman. Okay, well, we will miss you to, tonight, but please stay connected. Stay connected. Hello, Nelson. How are you tonight? Are you still working? Are you still yes, working? Yes, I'm still working. Oh, okay, well, but we'll try, right? Mm -hmm. But in my home. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, um, I think you you will be able to participate. In some cases. All right. Let us know. Okay. Let us know. Mm -hmm. Not let us know, right? <laughs> let us know. <laughs> okay. Let us know. You know what it is. Let us know, let us know, let us know. Okay, for Christmas. Que nieve, que nieve, que nieve. Okay. <laughs> okay, people. So we are going to start a class because we have a lot of topics to cover. Actually, it's material about the same topic. Uh, we are studying assessing risks. Assessing risks. Uh, this is a very interesting topic. And it's kind of complicated when you don't have any idea of the hazards that may occur in your workplace, right? But this is very, I mean, it's a very big opportunity to know some vocabulary, okay? To learn some vocabulary to, Mm, uh, to uh, let's say to know, yeah, to know or to get familiar with the processes in case of something could happen. Maybe you don't know it yet, but you are going to learn it through this class. Um, tonight we have this topic is a general one. It's about um uh, reading something about uh an escape plan in case of fire okay in case in case of fire so we need to learn some vocabulary right and we're going to learn this vocabulary in this reading we are having but also uh we want to go back and have our feedback okay Remember, we were studying the structures, grammar structures, passive voice and active voice for the present perfect tense. Oh, God. Almost 
va, tengo una situación, cuando me escriban, por favor, pónganme su nombre, porque tengo varios con la misma situación. Entonces, si me vuelven a decir la misma situación, me quedo así, ¿quién de todos? Era? Para llegar más rápido, porque ya al buscarlos, pues sí los encuentro, pero... Bien, vamos entonces a comenzar. Voy a iniciar la clase y luego ya nos quedamos con nuestro feedback. Ok. En nuestro feedback queremos, eh, es como decirles, queremos hacer algunas prácticas, pero online, hagamos lo más soft, hagamos lo más eh, práctico. Eh, ahora, hicimos, ahora vamos a hacer una práctica que ya habíamos hecho antes con algunos pero probablemente ahora les salga mucho mejor. ¿Okay? Vamos a reforzar el tema de eh, um, The Present Perfect Passive and Active Voice. Solo déjenme introducir el tema. ¿Okay? Nuestra agenda, pues siempre, ¿verdad? Tenemos nuestro feedback, nuestra discusión, tenemos nuestro reading, aquí faltó el reading. Y, Aquí, señores, señoras, no entra. Pues pongámoslo por otro lado, no importa. Reading article. Ok, tenemos un reading article. Por el icono lo dejé aquí, pero en realidad quizás va a ser como por después de la conversation role play y de la comprehension activity. Vamos a tener otra comprehension activity del reading article. Verá acerca de la lectura que vayamos a tener. Entonces, nuestro tema del día de hoy. Fire escape plan, article. It's a reading and discussion. Okay, and discussion. This is your class number 24. Oh, 24, guys. Aren't you excited? Mm, I'm excited. Okay, students will be able to identify key information in a passage about the fire escape plan. Okay, so we are going to learn some vocabulary. Key information means the terms related, processes related, uh, how to follow the escape plan, how to create a escape plan, the elements related to it. So this is our objective. Okay, this is our objective for tonight. So let's start by learning some vocabulary, okay? This is a chart where we can see some phrases, words, and then we can associate the meanings, okay? Because, I mean, for the signs. Following the signs, we know what they mean, right? But maybe we know how to say this, and Spanish. So now we are going to see the vocabulary, okay, in English. So, for example, if you see this sign, se mira chiquito, ¿verdad? Okay. Tenemos, por ejemplo, use stairs in fire. Mm -hmm. Use stairs in fire. O sea, no es que va a utilizar las gradas en el incendio de aquí, ¿verdad? O meterse a este incendio. No, salir, salir por las gradas. Ok, yeah. Miren, va para abajo el muñequito, ¿sí? Use stairs in fire. Hmm. Sí, se puede entender como que usted va a usar las gradas que estén incendiadas. No, 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 no. <risa> Significa que en medio del incendio, usted mejor, mire, en vez de usar un elevator, a usar las stairs. Okay, fire ladder. There are some buildings that they have ladder outside, right? Or in a side of the building, or maybe in a place where the fire department is going to indicate that it is the appropriate location, right? Or then we want to mm, keep signed all the way of escape, right? All the emergency exit. So Arrow, arrow is just the, uh, the form or the shape, right? Shape, arrow, arrow, flecha, okay? Indicating arrow, 
indicating arrow. Miren, es una flecha indicativa de la dirección que hay que tomar. Okay. Indicating arrow too. We could have different directions. Okay. Indicated by arrows. Then this sign is like you are here. Okay. Here is the place where you are located. Okay, the place where you are located. This is for wide open or wide or big or large buildings with different areas with a lot of offices, for example, or maybe there is like a cluster of business. So you need to know where you are. So you are here is not just the person, right? It's that they are going to show the person in a place, all right? Exit. Exit, but this is for a the case of fire, just in case of fire. Okay, then you have these flames, flames of fire up here. Then emergency exit four. So it has maybe handles, maybe uh, the um, uh, rampa ramps. Okay, ramps, or maybe it has a different access. Uh, inclusive, ¿verdad? Inclusivos. Ahora, for people uh, handicapped, para gente discapacitada, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, probablemente no va a ir a estas gradas, va a tener que salir por otra forma, si va en silla de ruedas, si lleva bastón, si va con andadera, o necesita ayuda para ser transportado, so it's a different exit. Or maybe it's going to have maybe a point where he has to get for if any rescuer comes for them to take them out, right? Then the fire extinguisher, fire extinguisher. This is an element. Fire hydrant, emergency phone. Emergency phone because on fire, uh, they have to cut the electricity. They cut the power, to cut the power. So you have to use an analog phone, right? An analog phone, so you are not going to use this other kind of phones because they are going to be um, a not functional. Okay, they will they won't be function. Emergency phone two, emergency phone two. So you need more than one if the company is large or big. Call nine one one or the phone from your location, right? Because they provide to the fire department directly, not only for uh, through the 911, right? Fire extinguisher, it's another way to say, okay, I mean the sign, right? Fire, la fire alarm, fire alarm, fire hose, fire hose, okay? This is the thing that it is but over there and it has a pull handle to do it by yourself, at least in the first aids, right? Fix axe, I'm sorry, fire axe, fire axe, firefighting, firefighting equipment, firefighting equipment. Maybe there is something that is going to cover yourself or cover the people in, okay? Mm, so you have to go and get it. Alarm, alarm. Sometimes you have to activate them manually and sometimes they activate automatically, right? Fire alarm, it's like a horn, right? Manual activating, manual activating. It means that you have to follow all the instructions, all the safety plan, the escape plan that you have planned, okay? It activates the alarm, okay? And the following of instructions, for example, when you um, a, a need to train the personnel, then you can use this manual activating, okay? Smoke detector, smoke detector. This is for fog, right? For fog, it's like to activate an automatic alarm. Fire sprinkler, fire sprinkler, a sprinkler, so this is those. This is the that kind of rings that they uh, splash or spill the water, right? And different directions. And maybe you can activate them because they are located in a place just 
because it's a very uh, potential hazard in that area, okay? So it's not that there is in everywhere. Mm -mm. This is for mm, those kind of places that they have, they, it's a high risk of fire, okay? Fire sprinkler, two different kind of sprinklers. Even though mm, the body of this thing, this is kind of the head of the, of the sprinkler, but the body of all of them seems like this one. Ones go on the ground and ones go just direct to the water source, right? Air conditioner, air conditioner, vents, 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 las ventilas, right? They con uh, that conduct the air conditioner. Don't go back. Don't go back. That's a measure. That's a rule, right? In case of fire, don't use the elevator, no fire. So any kind of fire, no smoking, no um, matches, um, any other kind of things that can uh, make combustion, right? To produce the fire. It could be by electricity source or maybe um, a fire source by your, a, um, uh, by a neglected a employee, right? The radiation hazard, this is just to a, like a caution, right? Caution, non-ionized radiation, non-ionized um, radiation. Actually, the ions or ions, uh, they work to clean up the air. They work to uh, make some, chemical um, mixes, right? So ions can uh, produce fire too. More if it is with radi radiation. Radiation can burn your skin, not necessarily uh, in a fire, right? It can be uh, a hazard for you because you can get um, burned. Also, if there is a has, I mean, there is a fire with the radiation. I think it's going to be more contamin, uh, more contaminants in the air. Okay, explosives, explosives. That's a really different um, handling, special handling. Okay, this is vocabulary for the class today. So now let's go and try to make our feedback. Um, we're going to the quizzes, okay? Quizzes, quizzes. Now me to get there. Ah, es que me está saliendo no como mi perfil, permítame. Can't see my dashboard. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Cool. Okay, here we are. Okay, you can go through the Google. Uh, the Google search, but if I think it will be easier if we go through it through the link. Okay, here it is. This is passive and active voice for the present perfect tense, okay? There it goes. Click on the link, write your name and hit enter, okay?
Ok, a ver cuánto falla. Uh -huh. Nombre completo. No, just a nickname. Six participants. Mm -hmm. You guys ready? No. Not yet? <laughs> I don't know. I think you are. I think you are. You have to <clears throat> click on active or passive voice. You have to detect which one of uh, the voices are. There you go, Glenda. Good. Blanca, Lorena, Wilber, Rafael, Salvador, Eulice, Miguel. Thank you. Okay, then, guys. A ver, ¿quién nos falta? Nos faltan varios jóvenes. A ver, Edwin, are you there? Uh -huh. Carlos Ernesto. Nancy. Sorry, I am trying. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Thank you, Nelson. I'm in teacher. Great. Uh -huh. Okay. Vamos, pues. Le damos, initiate. There we go, start. Good, Nancy, great. Uh -huh. And. Very good, Miguel. Yes. Good, Nancy. Mm. <laughs> uh huh. 73%, guys. Sorry. You can use all the boosters, eh? Hey, use them. Eighty-one percent of precision. Precision. I'm sorry. To be precise. There you go. Yes. 
84, go, go up, go up. Keep up, guys, keep, keep up, keep up. 85, 85, go, go, go. Yes. <laughs> yes, Wilbur, good. Go, go, Lorena, go, go. Go, Nancy, go. Go, Nancy, go. Yes, Salvador, go, go, go. Teacher, is this page uh, free for anyone? Yes, it is for free. Uh huh. And oh. this is my account where you are playing. This is my account. So, um, actually, you can access. You can access just uh, writing a uh, quizzes quizzes.com. And then you, uh, I I don't know what's the. Give me one second. Yes, you have just to create an account. You have just to create an account or get an invitation. But you can get an account for free as a student. Okay. For having access to a lot of different games. Okay, thank you. Interesting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Estamos al 84% de precisión, jóvenes. Vamos, vamos. No nos equivoquemos. <ríe> Good. A ver, quiero ver a quiénes tenemos ya listos. Por acá tenemos. Ok, there you are. Uh -huh. Vamos, Blanca. Rafael, y usted entró dos veces. Sorry, teacher. Entró dos veces, usted creo yo, ¿no? No. Ah, está todavía contestando. No, I finished. Mm, okay. Es que me sale bien poquito. Eh, bueno, me, me, me puso que había terminado y me salí de la plataforma. They were 20. They were 20. 20 questions. Okay, here we go. I will share the... Mm, the homepage, one second. I have three of you still working. Go ahead, go ahead. A ver. Mm -hmm. Look, the best five. Jose Miguel, Wilber, Lore, Salvador, and Nancy. 
We have, okay, 11. One of you still working, don't worry. Go, go, go. Huh? Okay, maybe the 12th will be someone, I don't know. Oh, Hosman ha de haber tenido problema en la conexión, ¿verdad? Okay. So we've got 84% of precision. So it means we, in a whole group, right, have 37 points, guys. Someone still working? Is someone still working? No, right, we stop. Okay, then. Okay, clap. First place. Mm -hmm. Good, clap. Clap for Michael. Lore, no, we better than Lore. Yes, there you go. Great, great. A ver, de ahí van todos los demás. Vamos a ver cómo vamos. Very good. Well done, Nelson. There you go. Okay, there you are. Then I can measure all your performances. All right, guys, all right. Ahora, coméntenme un poquito a ver cómo fue su experiencia. ¿Cómo sintieron las oraciones? ¿Fáciles? ¿Entendibles? ¿Ya manejan ahora ese vocabulario? A ver, cuéntenme, por favor. Fáciles, fáciles. Mm. Todavía, todavía no. Ok. Pero, pero sí muy entendible. All right. Uh -huh, uh -huh. A ver, ¿qué nos cuenta Salvador? ¿Le gustó? Muy bonito. Eh. Solo una pregunta, me equivoqué por contestarla rápido. Ah, ok. No le vio el bin. Uh -huh. o, o no llevaba bin. Ok, there you go. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver. Glenda, ¿cómo lo sintió? Pues un poco confuso. A ver, cuénteme. La mayoría me salió mal. De veras. Quizás porque no analicé bien. Ah, ok. La idea nada más era identificar si uh -huh. la oración estaba en voz pasiva o estaba en voz activa. La voz pasiva la identificamos porque lleva el verbo have, bueno, en el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Porque... Uh -huh. Hay otros tiempos verbales como el presente simple sí. y el pasado, pero en este caso es presente perfecto. Lleva el have o el has, ¿ok? Después de eso va el be and past participle, o sea, va el been. Y luego uh -huh. va el verbo principal también en pasado participio. Si lleva el been, for sure, it's... Mm, esa clave no sabía. Ok, good, good. Ajá. Entonces, ya a ver que al hacerlo de nuevo, le va a salir todo nítido, ¿ok? Ok. <ríe> muy bien, jóvenes, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Bien, eso es con respecto al vocabulario técnico que hemos visto, eh, profesional, de trabajo, de ambiente de trabajo. Ahora veamos cómo utilizar el presente perfecto en una conversación súper del día a día. Por ejemplo, cuando nos encontramos a alguien en la calle que no habíamos visto por años, ¿verdad? Una compañera, un compañero de trabajo o de estudios y platicamos para ponernos al día, ¿verdad? ¿Qué cambios han habido? ¿Sí? Entonces, escuchemos esta conversación para que ustedes noten cómo se usa el presente perfecto y también la voz pasiva del presente perfecto, ¿ok? Es una conversación de día a día, everyday English.
Unit 16, A Change for the Better, page 106, Exercise 2, Conversation, Catching Up, Part A, Listen and Practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good, thanks. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year. And I got a job at Mid-State Bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I wear contacts now. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. And there's one more thing. Look, I got engaged. Congratulations! All right. Now, let's go back and listen to it again. Unit 16. A Change for the Better. Page 106, Exercise 2, Conversation, Catching Up, Part A, Listen and Practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good, thanks. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year. And I got a job at Mid-State Bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I wear contacts now. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. And there's one more thing. Look, I got engaged. Congratulations! OK. A ver, ¿qué, qué agarraron así? Frases, palabras, a ver. He's engaged. Uh -huh. Okay, uh huh. One of them, right? One of them is engaged. Uh huh. A big mistake, yeah. teacher. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no, you've got to say congratulations, even if it is just forced. But as yeah, no importa que sea por compromiso, vea. Pero o sea, hay que decirle congratulations. <laughs> okay, what do you think? ¿Qué más escucharon? A ver. What else? Pretty good. Uh -huh. She asked uh, for uh, study, but she answered her the finish the last year, and she is uh, working in a in a bank, uh, I guess. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, she looks uh, different. Okay, and uh, what are the changes? I don't remember. It was the hair. Okay. A little bit there. Uh huh. And something else. Do you remember? She wore contacts. Yes. The... Uh huh. Now she wears contacts. Yes. Okay. Vamos entonces a leer la conversación y escucharla al mismo tiempo. Wow. Where is the conversation? Sorry. One second, one second. I will share it. Oh, sorry. I think yes. it's in the mm -hmm. menu. No, no. No, this is out of the menu. Okay, this is about catching up. O sea, poniéndose al día, ¿verdad? Con los cambios ahí de las amigas. Okay. O oh, amigos también pueden usar. Estas son frases de todos los días. Okay? Everyday English. Okay, here we've got it. Unit 16, a change for the better. Page 106, exercise two, conversation, catching up. Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been? Pretty good, thanks. Are you still in school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year. And I got a job at Mid-State Bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I wear contacts now. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks, so do you. And there's one more thing. 
Look, I got engaged. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, guys. A ver, vamos a escuchar a Lorena y a Blanca. Jennifer, no sé si está eh, disponible hoy. ¿Cómo se siente? Okay. Mejor. Yeah. Okay. Great, Blanquita. All right. Lore will be Diane and Blanca Jennifer will be Carrie. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if she's supposed to Hi, Carrie. I haven't seen you in age. How have you been? Very good. Dance. Are you a style in a school? No, not anymore. I graduated last year and I got a job at the state bank. That's great news. You know, you look different. Have you changed your hair? Yeah, it's shorter. And I shared contacts now. Well, you look fantastic. Thanks. So do you? And there one more thing. Look, I got engaged. Congratulations. Very good. Thank you very much. Is there any questions so far about the vocabulary in this conversation? Any comment? Yeah, the new word, engaged. <laughs> oh, okay. Engaged, yes. Uh -huh. But look, she's engaged. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation and think. Please pay attention. How has Diane changed? How has Diane changed? Vale, vamos a escuchar entonces la siguiente parte. There we go. Page 106, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How has Diane changed? So tell me, Diane, what have you been up to? Well, let's see. I've changed jobs. Really? You don't work at the hospital anymore? No, I left last year. I'm still a nurse, but I work in a private clinic. My job is less stressful now. Do you still live downtown? Oh, no. I moved to a new place. I'm in the suburbs now. I live in Parkview, just outside the city. Parkview? That's where I live. That means we're neighbors. Okay, let's go back and listen to it again. Page 106, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How has Diane changed? So tell me, Diane, what have you been up to? Well, let's see. I've changed jobs. Really? You don't work at the hospital anymore? No, I left last year. I'm still a nurse, but I work in a private clinic. My job is less stressful now. Do you still live downtown? Oh, no. I moved to a new place. I'm in the suburbs now. I live in Parkview, just outside the city. Parkview? That's where I live. That means we're neighbors. All right, huh. how uh, has Diane been changed? Well, she's a nurse and she has been working in a hospital until last year and now working in a private clinic. Um, what more? Ah, okay. change the place you live. 
Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And do you remember what is the place where she lives now? They live in uh, Park Avenue. In, uh, Park View. Park View. Park View. Sorry. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. A ver. ¿Quién escuchó cuál es el cambio? A ver. El cambio principal que dice al inicio de la conversación. Her job. Okay, he, she, he, she said that is less stress and change uh, from hospital to a private clinic. All right, good. Thank you very much, everybody, for participating. And now we just identify the way to use the present perfect in a very simple conversation when I run into someone, right? Maybe a classmate from the past or from when I was younger. Some people that we um, haven't seen for ages, okay? So, yeah. Okay, now it's 8.48, so let's go to the next activity. Okay, la siguiente actividad, the next activity is to think about your changes, okay? Let's think about your changes. From maybe let's think mm, about the last five years, okay? From the last five years. So the question will be, how have you changed in the last five years, okay? I will give you some of the, um, let's say changes, all right? And you're going to say if one of these changes are true for you. Let me to get this in a different way to get it easier. <clears throat> Okay, I'll share this with you. So how have you changed in the last five years? In the last five years. A ver, ¿cuál de estos chequearían como cierto y como en el que no chequearían. Vamos a ver. Todos pensando ahorita. Leamos el primero. Dice, I've changed my hairstyle. I dress I... differently now. Uh -huh. Tell me. I don't hurt. Uh -huh. uh, first one, I changed my hairstyle, but not for my own decision. Not for your own decision? And how come? Uh, a little bad genetic. Uh, I'm no sorry. Sé I'm en, uh, mala genética. Oh, genetic. okay, okay. No sé cómo not, se le dice a las entradas. Okay, it's not, yeah, but your own choice. It's because of nature, right? It's because of nature. Yeah. All right, good, good. Uh -huh. A ver, sigamos, sigamos leyendo y comentenme. A ver, ¿cuáles cambios han tenido ustedes? ¿Cómo han cambiado en estos cinco últimos años? Vamos a ver. How have you changed in the last five years? A ver, Rafael, tell me from these 10. Um, I dress differently now because my work now is more than... Uh, it's more um, formal. Formal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Any other? Uh, I made some new friends. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> uh huh. No, 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 <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh -huh. I changed my hairstyle for hey, the girls. Rehearsal. This is a man available, guys. Hey, girls. Uh -huh. Ya ahí hay un partidazo. Vamos. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Rafael. Yes, yes, yes. No, no quiere, verdad? No quiere casarse. Bueno. Y, y no quién yet. sabe, ¿verdad? Quién Fabio, sabe si Fabio. en los next five years, right? <ríe> ok, vamos a las siguientes. A ver, de todos estos, a ver, eh, de estos últimos, ¿cuál, ¿cuáles sí son verdad para usted, Rafael? Well, I'm still studying. Ok. Uh -huh. um... But in a different place or the same place. Some different place in another okay. university. All right. And the same career? No, another career. Oh, okay. I finished my first uh, my first engineering. Uh -huh. And I I I want to to study another engineering. Oh good, good. Okay, vaya, ya ven, chicas, and he's not married yet, hey, <laughs> vaya, chicas, all right, I'm sorry, Rafael, we, I'm just joking, you know me, okay, you know me, ajá, uh -huh. pero quién sabe si le conseguimos aquí, Rafael, o sea, hay joking que tirar la red. <laughs> joking, buddy, you want no joking. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. okay, vamos a ver. Ahora preguntémosle a Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto, how have you changed in the last five years? De estos que tenemos acá. Uh, maybe it's, I made some new friends okay. in other groups in English. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, Sometimes uh, uh, we send uh, WhatsApp. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh -huh. You exchange information. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And what about joining a club? Have you joined a new club or any other group in, uh, apart, right? Or beside the English groups? Uh, no, I have not joined the club. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe in, in a group specific, maybe in the, in the, the job. Okay, Mr. Carlos, and this is your life easier now? No. <laughs> no, not at life all. Life is... Mm, more difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Or okay. Uh, responsibilities. <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh -huh. What about you, Glenda? What are the changes? How have you changed in the last five years? Um, I dress differently now. Okay. I got a pet. Oh, good. Uh huh. I move again to my a modern house. Oh, okay. uh -huh. so, it, so we can click on the number six, right? Mm. Yes. Okay. Mm. Are you more outgoing than before? No, I don't have time. No? <laughs> okay. Is your life easier now? No. 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 Okay. Did you get married? No, never. No, never. Oh, my goodness. Why? This generation doesn't <laughs> think I'm getting married. Hey, come on. Teacher, teacher, uh -huh. the, cost of, the cost of the light is very expensive. High. Yeah, yes. Expensive. High. And I, yes. I, I don't like to share with someone uh, else. <laughs> oh, that's so trustful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> very direct. Very direct. Okay. Yes. Rafaelia, ¿usted le gusta compartir o no? Do you like to share? Yes, I like. I like it. 
All right, good. A ver, eh, preguntémosle a Fátima. Fátima, are you available? Miss Fátima? Okay, let's ask to Nancy. Nancy, how have you changed the last five years? Mm, well, the last five years, I changed a lot of jobs. <laughs> I okay. don't know how to say that. Okay, um, Did, uh, I have changes, changed jobs. I have changed jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have changed jobs. Good. And I've made some new friends in the different companies I I, I was working. Okay, um, good. I got Italian classes. Mm -hmm. And I graduated from university. Great, great. So you are not in high school anymore, right? <laughs> oh, no, high school, no university, no more. <laughs> great, yeah, yeah. So now you need a master, okay? You need to enroll in a master, exactly. okay? But it's yeah. so expensive. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Well, we can look for a program. We can look for a pro program like this one. This is... um. Uh, an opportunity to uh, um, access to new knowledges, techni technical knowledges, okay? So yeah, it's good, it's good. So congratulations that you are joined uh, to the English classes, all right? Okay, let's ask Salvador. Mr. Salvador, how have you changed in the last five years? I I made some new friends. Good. Mm -hmm. I got a pet. Oh, great. My life is easier now. Great. You see, guys, there is hope still. <laughs> uh huh. Nice. Um, okay, good. Good, great. You see, there is hope, there is hope in life. You will get your life easier sometime. Well, actually, eventually. Eventually, you are getting your life easier. A Salvador, right? Okay, guys, we are going to continue with the topic we are talking about. I mean, the one in the work environment, okay? Vaya, nos fuimos a dar una buena disfrutada en el Everyday English. Ahora vamos a regresar al tema. Dame. Sorry, nobody mentioned the quarantine. I forgot. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, in the quarantine, I uh, um, gain weight a lot. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And I couldn't lose it anymore. Yeah. And I couldn't lose it anymore. <laughs> I love eating and I enjoy the way I am. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What about you? I was working uh, while uh, From home. quarantine. Yes, the quarantine was, 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 I don't know, <laughs> was uh -huh. uh, obli obli an obligation. Okay, when we uh, get into the lockdown. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. I was working and I got the time to, to start my Italian classes. Oh, so that's when you, ah, great, great. Yes. Nice. Because for so you the... did them online? Yes, online. Great, great. This is interesting, guys, look. It's possible. You see, she studied in Italian when she was doing home office, right? There you go. Great. Exactly. I was working. <laughs> working. Yes, and doing home office. Home office. Home. And, uh, I mean, entre parentheses, entre comillas. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> well, it was good. It was a good experience, I think, right? Even though we were scared about what's, um, what 
was going to happen, right? We couldn't go out, we couldn't see our family. So those were very stressful times. Yes, very stressful times, but you took advantage. You took advantage of it. So congratulations, Nancy. All right, guys, let's go back to our um, manual, okay? In our manual, we uh, have some vocabulary we want to study. We're going to study this through a conversation. But first of all, I want to ask you something. Volvamos entonces a las safety measures. Let's go back to the safety measures. Do you remember what safety measures are? What safety measures are and what are they for? What are they for? Safety measures, remember? Safety measures. Mm -hmm. Is the assassin's rig? Risk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Assessing risks. Safety measures are part of a plan, okay? A safety plan where you create or dictate the guidelines how to behave in any activity of the company. Remember the operation, the business operation, business operation. So we don't talk about only production, we are talking about different areas in the company, okay? Business operation. And we <clears throat> assess the risks and also we measure the damages we can get, right? Or the hazards the potential hazards. So now let's go in. Um, I want to show you two questions, okay? And you want, I mean, you will give me your opinion about, um, about the lack of safety measures. What do you think uh, is the effect uh, when a company has a lack of safety measures, okay? So here we are. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Lack, eh, falta de, okay, la falta de. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Hmm. Yes. Yes, in what? Okay, what could be some effect of it? Not in this country, but in another, uh, uh, the company may be or might be uh, on demand. And it means uh, money for the company. Mm -hmm. Sued, sued, demandada, sued. Mm -hmm. Companies are sued. Yes, that could be one of the effects. Mm -hmm. What other effect uh, can... Uh, could be uh, when if, a company. Mm -hmm. If there are um, some frequently accidents inside of a manufacturing plant or something like that, uh, probably the government make them close mm -hmm. because it's not safety. Mm -hmm. Closer, 
Oh, yes. Yes, closure. Mm -hmm. Closure. Mm -hmm. Because of the frequent accidents. Yeah. Maybe we can get under investigation every time, right? Under investigation. And during the investigation, they have to close our operations too, okay? What other effects? Sickness and illnesses. Maybe uh, uh, the loss lost money in the production, and lost the money. Lose of money, say yeah. Lose, 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 lose. Lose or loss? A, no, yes, no. I think it's, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, perdida, right? But let me to, to see the. Loss. Losses, uh -huh. yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. Losses. Perdidas. Losses. Oh, let me see. Tell me. What's the difference between sicknesses and illnesses? Um, actually, sometimes they are interchangeable. Sometimes they are interchangeable. But uh, illnesses are those uh, a sufferings uh, fortuate, right? Like by luck, you got it. And sickness is something that. Mm, regularly you have that for example it's a condition too okay sickness it's like a condition okay. mm -hmm. but usually you can get them interchangeable well at this level you can use them as you want mm -hmm. for example you can say i feel sick they are going to understand that your stomach or you want to throw up because that's to get sick. But uh, when you say, for example, mm, I feel ill, I feel ill, well, then you're going to understand that you don't feel well either, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I was looking for something very important. Just give me one second. Uh, let's... let's Uh -huh. Okay. Este, la pronunciación, okay, sería, el verbo es loss, loss. Entonces, pérdidas sería losses. Okay. Losses. Y es, pues, un nombre, ¿verdad? Losses, un plural. Okay, yes, losses. Not only on money, but in infrastructure machinery, um, the instruments and tools, equipment, okay? Yes, you may lose, but you translate that into money, right? At the end, you translate that into money. So we understand that the losses are money, money referring, okay? Or human loss. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. A human loss, eso se llama casualty. See, casual, casual, see, hmm? casualty. Eso sería las human losses, okay? Las pérdidas humanas, casualty. Y se contabilizan como tales, ¿verdad? Casualty. Okay. Eh, casualty. Y luego para hacer un plural sería así, ¿ok? Casualties. Cambiamos la Y por la Y latina y le agregamos ES, ¿ok? Y nos referimos a 
like this. Victims. Okay. Victims, the casualties. And when we report uh, an accident, for example, by phone, they are going to ask you. Uh, when you call the 911 and you're reporting that there is an accident in your company, then they're going to see if, uh, are there any casualty, okay? And uh, are there any casualties? So victims, people injured to death, okay? Injured to death. It's not just injured because injured could be just a, uh, a, a cut in your skin, right? Or maybe a scratch or burn. That could be a injured, that you are that you are injured or hurt or harmed. But when they're asking for casualties, they are asking for dead people. Okay. If people died. All right. So let's go back to the mano. Otra vez me pasé de las nueve jóvenes para pasar la asistencia. Vale, vamos a ver. Por acá tenemos que Gladys and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure menu. Now they are talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm. Okay, at the eye of the storm. That's a phrase to say in el ojo del huracán, right? At the eye of the storm. So let's read this conversation and then we are going to roll through. And here we are. This is on page 38, if I'm not wrong. Let me to see. This is on page 38. Okay, Gladys and Miguel have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure manual. Now, they're talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm, okay? So let's read the conversation. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued, oh, you see the word? Because if an employee died when manipulating, manipulating heavy machinery, okay? This one is a letter Y, heavy machinery. Uh, oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. Sure. What is the uh -huh. meaning of SUD? -E -E the demandal. Demandada, porque este sería un ED, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Su sin el D es en tiempo presente. Where sued, passive voice. Ok. All right. Is there any other question about the vocabulary? <coughs> no questions? Okay. Edwin, are you available? Yes, teacher. Okay. You will be Miguel. Okay. Okay. And, a ver, ah, Rosa is a in there. Oh, okay. Um, Miss Glenda, you will be Gladys. Okay. 
Um, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safely measured manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched uh, some news about one of, of our competitors. They were shot because of an employee date when late have machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news. Our very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be of their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so related. We are done with the self measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as, mu as much as possible. Good job, guys. Good job. So now let's look and let's refine some pronunciation. Okay. That's such bad news. That's such bad news. Everybody, please open your microphones and say this. That's phrase. such bad news. That's such bad news. That's such bad news. Yes. That's such bad, bad news. Miremos que news está en plural y siempre va a ser plural, ¿verdad? Pero no. lo vamos a tratar como singular. Miren, that's good news, that's bad news. Okay, that's such bad news. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos en esta. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. Is there any question about this conversation? Oh, teacher. No questions. No. Okay. Below this conversation, we have some building vocabulary. These are words and also phrases that um, are effects caused by hazards. Match the words and phrases that describe effects caused by hazards and risks to their definitions. Okay, you are going to read and associate the, uh, the meaning of it. Okay, nos vamos a ir al breakout room. Van a practicar la conversación y van a hacer ese match. Okay, you will do the match.
Hello, girls. Hi, teacher. Hello, teacher. Did you practice the conversation? Um, I don't take a picture, teacher. Hey, um, I sent it through the WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, not a lot of bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on the way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Hold on, I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure of Maryland. Now we want to plan its implement implementation to reduce accidents possible. possible. Hey. Yes. It's a hard work. Para mí, esa fue mi tesis. Oh, sobre, nice. sí, sobre todo lo que es el manual de seguridad industrial de un restaurante. Esa fue mi tesis para graduarme el año pasado. What do you study? Sorry? What do you study? Uh, Bachelor of Business Administration. Licenciatura nice. en Administración de Empresas. Nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we need answers. No. Uh, match the definition with the answer to work. I don't remember if the teacher say about say something about that. Teacher? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Please do the match. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, machines often break down. Properly damage. Um, property damage, I guess. Yes. I don't know. In the pencil? Uh, and the company lost money. Financial loss. Is fire, right? Yes. Um, customers. Hello, Miss Glenda. Hello, teacher. Did you have any problem? I asked, uh, I asked Nelson and no answer me. Oh, because he's still working. All right. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Okay, I will send you to another group just to finish. All right. Okay. Mm Sí, ya. Ahí que te tomé nota y esto. Yo también lo voy a notar. Ya, ya. 
Elise on screen. Okay, teacher, are you there? Yes, here I am. Tell me. I have a uh, duda. Often. Okay. And this and this phrase mm -hmm. often break down. Often. often. A menudo. Often. Breakdown. Breakdown. Se arruina. Exactly. Ah, pues sí. Ah, pues sí. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues sí. Esas creemos que son. No sé si okay. We're we're gonna see in the main session. I think you were doing a good job. Okay. Okay. Busca, espera. Okay, people. Now we are going to do it together, I think, right? Now you tell me. And the first one, machines often break down. What number is it? I think it's number three. Mm -hmm. um, number three, okay, can you read it? Property damage. Okay, property, property. Mm -hmm. Property. Yes, property damage. The second one is number five. Mm hmm? Okay, and what's the word in number five? What's the term? Financial loss. Mm -hmm. Financial, financial loss, financial mm -hmm. loss. Good. Well, what about the other one? Please read this and then tell me what number it is. And then you Each tell the me- The first that... one is not six, is three. Oh, thank you. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Last of customer. Okay. Can you read the definition? Customer switch to another provider business. Or business. There you go. Mm -hmm. So it is what number? Four. All right. And what's the term? What is the term? Can you read it? Uh -huh. Can you read it? Loss as customer. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. Employees die in the midst of renting a machine. Mm -hmm. Casualties. Yes. Casualties. Casualties. The production stop. Business interrupt interruption. Very good. Mm -hmm. Contamination. Okay. There you are. Very good job. Is there any question about no. this uh, activity? Okay, then let's read the effects. I mean, caused by the hazards. Contamination, casualties, 
property damage, loss of customers, financial loss, business interruption. These are effects of the lack of safety measures. And sometimes even having the best safety measures, if we don't train our personnel, then we are not, we are having the same effects, okay? Because our hazards, uh, our, our hazard becomes our personnel, okay? They are not trained. Maybe you have the safety measure, but they don't know them. So you will have the same, the same effects, okay? With an untrained personnel, okay? Así que va de la mano, it goes together. Safety measure, and the training and safety in uh and working safety. So this has to become a culture, a safety culture. Okay. Safety culture. All right. This is to avoid, at least to minimize, okay, at least to minimize, because accidents always happen, but we want that the accidents don't always happen. Okay, that it's a real accident. Okay, so accident as it is instead of incidents every time, right? Okay, what do you think about this? What do you think about this effects? Have you seen any company involved in any of these effects because of hazards or because of the lack of safety measures? Do you remember any any company that has been mentioned in the news? Do you remember a rumor? Do you remember that rumor that they said that in a bottle of Coca-Cola they found a, a finger of a person, a finger of a man? Yeah. Do you remember that? <laughs> okay, it could be a rumor. It could be a rumor, but I think that's something uh severe, right? Something severe. Yeah. <laughs> I heard I heard that it was a body. <laughs> oh, really? Oh my goodness. Yes. Uh, it was not just a finger. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. well, in a tank. I sorry. Yes, mm -hmm. in a tank. In a tank. Okay. Mm -hmm. A body, imagine. Oh my goodness. This is a rumor for uh, Central de Salco. Mm -hmm. uh, once, uh, once employee dies per safra. Oh, okay. Yeah, he died because of the fire in it or. What was the cause? Um, what did they say? Eh, I don't know. Eh, es variado. Puede pasar por cualquier razón. Oh, okay. Okay. My safra. Okay. Yeah, I thought about the sugar cane and those kind of things. But remember that they have this, um, the refinery is like in high, I don't know. High temperatures, right? High temperatures. And also they have this kind of males, right? They kind of males that they can destroy your body just in, in yes, seconds. Yeah. That's a very old rumor. Mm -hmm. Because uh, actually the, uh, they have a, a, several, a several um safety measures okay and and that's in, in, eso ha mejorado mucho. okay it has been improved it has yeah. been improved all right good so now let's go and read uh this article and tomorrow we are going to see the other part that we've got right uh and the last page so this is on page 40, okay? And now we're going to move to another um, 
a event that can happen, right? Some accidents or hazards that we can have around our places. Uh, for example, we want to start by asking, have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake in your company? Mm -hmm. Repeat, please, the question. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> here it is. Have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire or an earthquake? What's the meaning of um, uh, earthquake? The meaning of earthquake, the tremors yes. or a um, terremoto. Yes, terremoto. <laughs> exactly. Okay, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have. Yes, we have a a plant uh, for this case. In this okay. case, okay. Yeah. in case of fire. Yeah. How do you say comité? Committee. 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 Mm -hmm. Committee. Uh, we have a, a safety committee. evacuation evacuation committee. Oh, okay. Evacuation committee. Mm -hmm. They yes. are in charge of each step. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have a uh, one person per area. Mm -hmm. uh, design a uh, encargado. In charge of? to of of uh, dirigir el, el, la evacuación. Okay, direct the evacuation. Direct, direct the evacuation in this okay. case. Mm -hmm. I think will be coordinate, right? Coordinate. coordinate. Mm -hmm. Organize, coordinate. All right. Put in action, right? Put it in action. Okay, good. So now let's read this excerpt. It's about a fire escape plan. Okay, this is about a fire escape plan. So practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary was, way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, practice filling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases, which can disorient your, I'm sorry, disorient you, or at worst, overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to fill the top of the door. The door knob and the crack between the door and the door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Des designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front side walk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first. Then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. 
they are equipped to perform rescues safely. Finally, having working smoke alarm installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your changes of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with the new ones at least once a year. Okay? Vamos a ver. Vamos a pedirle. Ah, ¿alguna pregunta ahorita de lo que hemos leído? Is there any question so far? Mm, yes, teacher. Uh, what does crawl mean? Low, crawl. Crawl, crawl low. Crawl low. Mm -hmm. uh, arrastrarse por debajo, bien abajo. Arrastrarse por el piso. Crawl es el verbo para decir que el niño gatea, ¿verdad? Entonces, es oh. el mismo verbo. Váyase gateando o arrastradito, como las, también <laughs> las serpientes, they crawl. Ok, se arrastra. Crawl. Oh. Mm -hmm. Fun okay. fact. I'm sorry? A fun fact. A fun in fact? My work, uh -huh. yeah, uh, in my work, I'm literally sitting next to the emergency exit. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's, my, easy it's, my, to, it's easy for you to get out of the building. It's my duty to uh, open the, the door for all the... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that your spot of working was right beside the, uh, the exit. Oh, in my work uh, every day. My, uh -huh. Mi escritorio, mi puesto, no sé. Uh -huh. eh, está justo a la par de la salida de emergencia. Oh, ok, ok. Y por eso mismo es mi deber abrir la puerta en caso de emergencia. Oh, well, actually it's not a fun fact, but it's good, it's good, great. Yes. <laughs> it's not only funny, but I think it's a very good um, measure to take the person right beside the exit door, I mean the emergency exit. Good, José Miguel, great. Have you ever done it? Two times. Two times. Okay. Yeah. Like in a simulacrum or something? No. <laughs> <gasps> for real? One for uh conato de incendio. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It was uh -huh. fire alarm. Fire alarm. Fire alarm. Mm -hmm. And the other for uh no fue terremoto. Earthquake. Earthquake. Aquí la tenemos. Earthquake. Pero no fue terremoto, no llegó a eso. Así que luego... Entonces, sí, este se es. llama tremor. 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 Uh -huh. oh, Exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos a pedirles entonces que lean. A ver, vamos a pedirle a Carlos Ernesto que lea el primero, la primera eh, parte del plan. Nelson ya está disponible. Not yet. Cristina, are you available? Miss Cristina, puede leer el segundo usted? Yes, teacher. Okay, Nancy, the third one. Okay, Lore, Lorena, the fourth one. Cosman, are you available? Immediately. ¿Cómo se dice eso? Cosman. ¿Cómo? Immediately. Okay, Hosman, you read the, the last one, okay? Uh, I mean, the last uh, recommendation, but let's see, the final, the final will be, uh, will be read by Salvador, okay? There you go, you may start, guys. Okay. Uh, practice scarfing from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have to waste to get out of each room. If the primary was is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto a adjacent roof. Also, practice feeling your way out on the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place when a fight occurs. Do not wait any time saving goods. Take the safest access road, but if you must escape through smoke, 
Remember to club love under to smooth and keep your mold forever. The smooth contains toxic ga gas, which can disorient your eye works or overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door. The dark knob and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If it, if it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Designate a mirror place outside and take attendance. Designate a mirror location away from the building, for example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or from sidewalk to make uh, sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. As all stay out, remember to escape first. They notify the fear department, the, the department. Never go back into burning building for any reason. If some is missing, tell the fear they are they are equipment to perform request safely. Finally, having working a smoke alarm installed on every level of the building dramatically increase your chance of survival. The smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at less one a year. Very good job, guys. And I just want to comment that you have improved your reading from the beginning of this course to the point that we are right now. I feel that you have improved your reading, guys. Very good. Very good. Intonation is important. Feel the same air to the next um, a sign of punctuation. And also uh, the complete idea with the same air, okay? With the same air. That, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. I noticed it. Okay, guys, so we have at least, okay, at least five minutes right now. It says, underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. Two of them are not right. So let's be careful when we read. Hmm? Underline the best recommendation. The best recommendation. Now let's read number one. Leave the place. Mm -hmm. The first one, no. Mm -hmm. This one. Yep. Leave the place. Leave the place. Immediately, right? Immediately. Mm -hmm. Number two. Carefully feel the door knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. All right, I think it is correct. Do you agree, guys? I agree. Yes. Good. Okay. Number three. Away from the building. Away from, from the building. 
Yeah, because it, you can uh, be gotten, right? Mm -hmm. okay. is not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, because they are going to be looking for you, right? Uh, they won't yeah. know that you are safe. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay until everything has been, I mean, until they tell, tell, I mean, tell you that you may leave. All right. Number four. Number four. Notify the fire department first. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of hesitation? Hesitation. See, hurry. Mm -hmm. eh, no sin desesperación, sin una rapidez así como desesperarse. Okay, I guess escape for us without his, his, his hesitation. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it says before trying to escape. Uh -huh. Notify the fire department. Mm -hmm. Notify the fire department. Yeah, yes, notify. Actually, you have to try to escape first. That's what I think. What do you think? In any escape plan, the first thing is leave and notify. So they are both important. But let's say notify because of the rating, okay? Now, what about number five? Test them every year. At least, uh-huh. So, every year, once a year. It's the same once a year and every year, okay? So there we go. Mm -hmm. Is there any question? About the escape plan and I can, in the case of fire and or earthquake. No questions? No. no ah, porque ya vieron que ya casi son las 10, vea, por eso no van a hacer preguntas, vea. <laughs> nah, it's joking, just joking. Exactly. Okay, it's time for roll calling. Okay, so please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you say one phrase or one word related to the um, a case of fire, okay? In case of fire. Remember, uh, this was the image. So I will share it through the chat and you will have it handy. So here it is. So you can take any vocabulary from there. Choose one. So when you hear your name, you say one of them, okay? One recommendation. Or word. Bien, vamos a ver entonces. Let's move to the roll calling. Guys, today is oh, Thursday. Yeah. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. What about you? Aren't you uh, excited? Me too. Uh, <laughs> yes. And we have a holiday. The first of May. May the first. Our week. Yes, and May the 10th, oh, great. <laughs> so we have two holidays, public holidays, right? Yay. This month apparently will be short. 
will be? It will be sharp. This month. I think so. I think so. And we can rest a little more. Yeah. Okay, guys. So let's start. I know that Lorena is hesitated to say the word. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, don't hesitate. Ana Lorena Lovato Orellana. Uh, leave the place immediately. Very good. Mm -hmm. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. I run quickly. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. There's K first without hesitation. Okay, good. And Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Aquí en el chat tenemos también otras frases y palabras que pueden usar aquí en el chat de Zoom. Que las vimos al principio de la clase. Vamos, Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. I, I use fire extinguisher. Extinguisher, extinguisher. Extinguisher. Good. Mm -hmm. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Mm, fire alarm. Good. Eulice Torres Torres. Emergency phone. Good, good. Okay. Uh, em emergency. Emergency phone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes. Uh, phone call. Good. Yes, phone call. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Fatima Noemi Omaña Castro. Miss Fatima. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Five letter. Fire. Five letter. Lather, lather. Mm -hmm. Lather. La, la. Because letter es como una carta así bien hot, de fuego, ¿verdad? así como bien de mucho hot. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just joking. I'm just joking. Okay. La, ladder, ladder. La. Yes. There you are. Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Call 911. Good. And El Salvador is 911. And we have another uh, for the fire station. I don't know if we have one. Do you have any handy? Ustedes tienen el aquí de El Salvador para no llamar a la policía, sino que llamar a directamente al fire department. Usually they they post it, right? Usually they post it through Twitter, through Facebook, and we never take note. Hey guys, take note. Okay, Hosman Atilio Serrano. Hey. Oh, we weren't able to hear you, Hosman. Emerging number, uh, emerging phone. Okay, good. Uh huh. Emergency phone. Okay. Or, oh, now we get it. Yes, emergency phone is the analog, right? The analog, yeah. that, that one that works with uh, without electricity. Yes. Mm -hmm. Karen Lisette Sanchez Castro. I don't know if Karen was connected today. Nancy Margarita Morang Morang. Robert Me Damage. Okay. Good. Uh, property damage will be after the fire. We have to count yes. <laughs> the losses. Yeah, we have to take count of the losses. Good. Uh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Don't use the elevator. Great. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Don't waste your time saving goods. Great. And Raul the number and... of, of five. Fire pipes uh -huh. is a uh, 9 uh, 13. Oh, guys, take note. 
913. So we have the police department is 911, the emergency call, and then the other emergency call for fire would be 913. Thank you very much, Rafael. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Hello, teacher. Uh, then go back. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo me imaginé así como que me decía a mí. Uh, and I was going to do like, uh, yeah. why not? <laughs> Come on. Another before, but someone uh, say, the, uh, don't use the elevator. <laughs> no, but it was good. Don't go back for any reason. Okay, good. Rosa del Carmen Enriquez Flores. Miss Rosa? Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez? Use stairs in fire. Use? Stairs in fire. Stairs, stairs, yes. Stairs. Yes, así, ábralo así, stairs. Ajá, no tenga miedo, abra, Blah. stairs. Bears. Yes, there you go. Okay, guys. And now, Jose Miguel Torres Hernandez. Present teacher. Um, never open doors that are hot to the touch. Great. Very good. Okay, guys. Thank you very much for uh, joining today to this class. And the opportunity is available for anyone who wants to stay in the session one-on-one. -on -one. If you have any thought, any question you want to ask, Lore? You said like this? No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay, good. A ver, ¿alguien quiere quedarse? O no quedamos todos, solo faltan cuatro minutos para los diez minutos. Y todos así como, eh, como el emoji, ¿verdad? <laughs> Ahí me van a poner la reaction, así como, ya le puedo decir como cuál. Uh, sí. <laughs> okay, people. So uh, let us meet tomorrow here at eight. At eight o'clock, please. Okay, at eight o'clock, please. Remember that tomorrow, Friday, graduation party, the prom. <laughs> okay, great. Yay! Tenemos que hacer la. Satisfaction survey, so please be present. Okay, please. Okay. Bye bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 bye.